Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vaught RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. Right behind me I have a 2022 Whitehawk 27RB. This is a true couples camper. Everything about this just screams couples. Or maybe you're a single person that likes a lot of room. This is a neat little camper for you and I'm excited to do a walkthrough, a walk around video for you today. There's three things that are different about this in 2022. Kind of three of my favorite things that are new in 2022 I'm going to point out right at the front here. First of all, there's a larger fresh water tank, 55 gallons of fresh water. If you've ever seen a 55 gallon oil drum, it's about this high, that's how much fresh water is in this thing. You take a lot of showers with 55 gallons fresh water. There's tire pressure monitoring integrated into the valve stem of the on the uh, J command system here. Really handy safety feature. And finally, the roofing material up on top is Diflex Generation 3 with a 20 year warranty. Used to be a 10 year warranty, they've upgraded it to 20 years. So if you combine that warranty with Jayco's already industry leading two year warranty on all the components, three year structural, and six year warranty on the Goodyear tires. It's a pretty stout warranty, really, really good stuff. So let's take a look on the outside. We're in a White Hawk, again, 27 RB. What I love about all the White Hawks, you always have a table and they always give you a place to store the table. So here's uh, a plastic topped table for the patio area and a little slot to store it in. So you've always got a table pocket in a White Hawk and you still have nice pass-through storage all the way through, even though you've got the table up there. Nice clean pass-through storage. Now up front we have large 30-pound propane bottles matching 30s and electric tongue jack with a light up here and so Real handy for hooking and unhooking, very nice. Notice the nice marine grade LED lighting up here. Now we're in a White Hawk trim line, so that means we have this automotive glass windshield, which is almost always the headboard of your bed, and it is in this unit. So you can lay up there and want look at the stars or let the natural light in, very nice. And this makes a neat, you can turn this on or off as you wish but this makes a neat marker at a campground at night, easy to find your unit. Pass through storage, so we have all the way through, you can see clean, nice pass through storage. This is a battery disconnect, so if you're gonna be away from your unit for a while, turn off the power, it's not gonna drain your batteries. It's a handy feature. Now, on all Jayco fiberglass units like this, uh, Jayco does what they call vacuum bonding. Most manufacturers do a pinch rolling process where they spread the adhesive out, run it through a roller, pinch the ends, and declare a victory. Jayco, however, pulls 144 tons of vacuum for 16 minutes on this whole wall assembly, which distributes the adhesive out. Think of it as a food saver for an RV wall. What's that mean to you? It means that this wall is not going to delaminate over the lifetime of the RV. It's going to be just like this. It's going to maintain its value. In fact, Jayco's maintained their value 9 to 11 percent more than their competitors because of that build quality. Now, you don't usually get an extra storage compartment in a trailer this size, but we do here. So really long, you can put fishing poles and bag chairs and other camping supplies in here. Magnet catches all the way around, not the little plasticky things that break all the time, right? Of course, we've got our sewer uh, connections back here, detachable 50 amp power cord on this 27 RB. So 50 amps of power, we've got two AC units up on top. You're not gonna be lacking for power with 50 amp service here. So this guy's ordered with 50 amps. This is consistent with the other feathers and flights and uh, White Hawks. You got your cable input, cable and satellite input here. Up here we have a black tank flush. So hook a hose up here and uh, keeps your black tank clean. I can talk more about that. And then also city water connection here for your water supply. All na labeled nicely. Outdoor shower, hot and cold. You'll notice Jayco does a, nice, does a nice job labeling 
different components. In this case, we have a low point drain under there. You can take these stickers off later if you want to. Most people just leave them on, but you get your outdoor shower. Full size spare, as always with a Jayco. And notice on the White Hawk, we have frameless windows all the way around. I like the frameless windows. They tilt out so that if it were to come up a rain shower, it won't rain in. Uh, but you can still keep that ventilation going. We're prepped for a rear view camera up there. It's plug and play. We can install that for you. You can install it later. You can put a rear camera as well as side marker cameras up on the side of the coach as well. Now we have electric stabilizing jacks all the way around. So this makes it uh, super easy to drop these things down once you get it level and spud it in at the campground, drop those stabilizing jacks around and it'll minimize movement inside the coach. Now on this unit, we have both a J port up there where you can put a Blackstone griddle as well as this little area here. Have your little store and chill for drinks and handy deli items out here on the patio side. Have a utensil drawer here. And what I like is this, this enamel surface that's not carpet, not laminate. It's uh, impervious to, <clears throat> to moisture. So if this does get wet, messy, whatever, it's not gonna hurt it. Have power outlets in there so you can put a coffee maker or a blender whatever you want in here. Nice branded bottle opener, how about that? Now, nice beautiful awning up here. So on the patio side, which is where you're gonna spend a lot of time at the campground, all the important stuff's covered. Your little outdoor kitchen area is covered. If you, right here's where the Blackstone griddle would go. So your Blackstone griddle platform will be right here, also under the cover. This is where the fun happens. This is the fun side on the campsite. A lot of people wonder, well, why, there, why is there two entrances? And we'll look at that on the inside. You have access to your bedroom from the patio when the slide's in. Notice we have LED light strip across the uh, patio awning and then integrated speakers on the outside wall. Those are nice speakers and integrating them on the external wall of the RV. I have a, a light switch under here, which is really difficult to show you during daylight, but it's a blue light that's under here. You can see my hand, it's blue light. If it's pitch black out here, that casts a nice pleasant blue light under these steps, just enough so that you can see what you're doing when you come up and approach the steps after dark. Of course, these are the more ride step above steps. Best thing that's happened to RVs in like ever. These stow up like this for travel and that locks in. Just give that little blue le lever a pull and they come down. These are both adjustable so if you're on uneven ground, you can still get a good firm contact point with the ground. Really love those steps. Let's go in and have a look on the inside, shall we? All right guys, now we're on the inside of this White Hawk 27 RB. Again, a true couples camper. This might be my favorite couples camper floor plan. I don't know, there's a couple two, three that are in the running, but this is certainly in the top two or three. And there's a couple reasons why. See what I did there? A couple reasons. <laughs> okay, so nice big slide that has both a nice big dinette and theater seating. This dinette, of course, will convert into a bed in that unlikely event that your mother-in-law comes along. You know, she comes knocking at the door late at night. It's raining outside. You open the door and you say, what are you doing? Go home, right? Standing out there in the rain. No, I'm just kidding. I love my mother-in-law. I love my mother-in-law, Sue, very much. But if she came along, I can convert this into a bed really easily. And it's a nice long bed, too. Uh, should have brought my tape measure, but I'm six feet tall and I got room to spare if this is converted into a bed. This is all in this one slide and the nice theater seats with perfect viewing angle of the TV up there. So, boom, right there's the TV and the fireplace. Absolutely perfect. Got my cup holders. Life is good. Now, what else about this guy? I haven't told you about the dimensions. We're 32 feet, 9 inches long. 7125 unloaded vehicle weight. So before you put all your stuff in, you're going to be up around, you know, 8,500 plus gross weight. 
large bathroom back here, which I'm going to show you in just a second. We've got a big closet in the bedroom, which I'm going to show you in a second. I already showed you the fireplace. We have a big 12 volt fridge and a blackstone griddle that this comes with and those nice theater seats. That's why I think this is a fantastic couple's camper. And hey, what's behind this door? Obviously it's a dry erase board because I wrote on it. I hope it's dry erase. But look, we have a pantry. So these come out if you want them out, just like so. And now we can hang clothes and make this, or if you have taller items, this one comes out too. Otherwise, you have pantry storage. Just drop these in. There's a little lip on the front, so if you have canned goods and typical pantry stuff, they're not going to slide out. Lots of storage, so I really like that. But, whoa, look at this. All right, lots of countertop space in a unit like this that is not a super long unit. Plenty of room up here, and this is a one-piece molded, impervious to moisture countertop. Huge, huge storage up over the top. Man, oh man, that's great. Storage is always a premium in RVs, and there's a lot of it here. So we have a little bit of storage under the sink. Got storage right here. Extra rolls of toilet paper, perhaps. Tons of storage up on top. And then a big old shower with Brian's uh, camera bag right in there. So there's room for me and a camera bag, both in this shower. <laughs> All right, that's, that's pretty good. By now, everybody knows how tall I am and how much I weigh. If you forgot, I'm six feet tall. I weigh 185.3 pounds. I got room to maneuver in here, take a shower, skylight. I could be 6'5". I can still have a shower in here comfortably. Couples camper galore right here, man. I love this. So coming back over to the kitchen area. Nice, tall gooseneck faucet matte black finish that's a 2022 change matte black and i love this i bet you can't tell from home on your couch right now whether this is real tile or not doesn't it look like real tile i thought it was real tile the first time i stepped up in here it's not it's a one piece backsplash material but it sure does look nice nice subway tile got our charging stick here with household current and usb ports on it Three burner cooktop with these nice backlighted controls and a modest size oven. Again, big enough for pot pies, pizzas, and what have you. This little guy pops up for some extra prep space. And then we have three drawers down here. Now, always with Jayco, they put full extension drawer glides. Notice they come all the way out. They don't just come out there. They come all the way out. Ball bearing glides, 75 pound weight rating. Jayco's uh, cabinet quality is one thing that really sets them apart. It's always solid maple wood on a Jayco, not particle board with tape on it to make it look like real wood. It's real wood. And then the whole assembly is screwed to the framing members of the, of the unit. Fantastic. And on this one, we've got 12 volt, two cubic fit larger than a regular RV refrigerator. Nice deep storage in here, 12 volts. This is running off 12 volts all the time. If you stop and run into Cracker Barrel on your way to Paladura Canyon, this refrigerator is going to keep running off of your battery bank in front. When you're going down the road, you're charging those batteries. And uh, if you've got solar on board, it's going to be charging them from that too. When you plug into shore power, it's going to charge your batteries. So you can still dry camp with a 12 volt refrigerator, but what I love about them most is their larger and it's a compressor fridge. It behaves much like your refrigerator at home. Very nice. And then we have, uh, not only do we have that pantry storage up there, we've got all this storage right next to the fridge too. This could be linens, clothes. You can put baskets in here for food items. Um, so it could double as more pantry space or clothes space. Nice big television, we have storage up on top, storage on the either side of your little entertainment center, and a fireplace down here. So we can go through and change color schemes on the fireplace and just have it on for aesthetic purposes like now. I'm not throwing any heat. Or I can turn the heat on and thermostatically control it. That's fun. You can stream music through this entertainment center 
uh, pair your phone to this and you can push music through the speakers in here or out on the patio. Moving right along into the bedroom, love this too. Now we're in a White Hawk, so we have that neat windshield in the front. So let me pull this open. Boom, look at that. You can really see the bug guts nicely now. <laughs> uh, all the way from Northern Indiana. I think this one's from probably Fort Wayne, probably Louisville, Kentucky, somewhere around Texarkana here, probably. That's the way they look to me. So anyway, uh, we'll, clean them, right? we'll definitely clean them. That's one thing that we'll do before you take delivery. A lot of times we do these videos like this one before we've had a chance to wash and detail this inside and out. It'll be washed and detailed inside and out. We'll fill the propane for you, put a new battery in and have a technician go through all the systems with you. I promise we'll get those bug guts off of there. So. Um, as I retrieve this and pull it back down. So, I love these lights. You, you've got nice blue night lights. If you touch it the first time, you have that ring light up. Touch it the second time and you have a nice blue night light that casts across the top of the bed. Touch it a third time and we have a reading light. So, any scenario you need lighting for, got you covered. There's also a blue light back here that I have lit up down here on a switch, on, off, on, off. So again, if you just want real subtle light late at night, don't wanna blind your partner, that's also something you can do. Now, what else do we have here but an actual closet? We have drawers down on the bottom, hanging clothes up on the top, um, and a power outlet in there too. Again, not often do you get this much storage space on a unit that's not, frankly, a fifth wheel or a 40 foot long unit. Now, if you, uh, so we have storage here, hanging clothes, folding clothes, same drill on the other side. There's USB charging ports on, the, on, on each nightstand, your light switch for that light back there, and then household current here as well. If you want to add a TV, right here's where the TV would be mounted. I have our power and cable connections up here, light switch here. So if you wanted to add solar, we can add solar right here's where the charge controller would go. We can add a 190 watt upgrade kit to this if you wanted to. True couples camper head to toe. Um, really liking this because when that slide goes out, plenty of room to maneuver. If mother-in-law does come, we got a place for her to sleep too. It's very comfortable. We're in a White Hawk 27 RB. If you'd like to learn more about this, give me a call. I can send you more specs, send you a link to it from our website. Brian's already taken a whole bunch of pictures of this unit and we have it um, on our website. But uh, if you need a personalized tour, I'd love to show it to you in person. My name is Mike here at Vaud RV. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Howdy everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a thing or two from what I had to say. If you did and feel like it, then click subscribe below. And when I post a video, you'll be the first to know. See you next time.